What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Prince again, back with another video. This one right here, we're gonna talk a little bit about one of my first mountain bikes that I bought, the Colorado Comp. This is a Dick Sporting Goods exclusive uh, mountain bike that they only sell at their particular store. So I kinda of wanna talk a little bit about the bike. There are a few videos out there um, about this bike, but I'm gonna go in a little bit more details and kinda of try to give you guys a good review. Um, especially as someone who's new to the sport, buying my first bike wasn't an easy decision. I did a lot of research. I hit all of my local um, bike stores. I hit some some of the big chain department stores like Academy Sports and Dick's as well. And uh, after doing the research, I actually combined it or actually brought it down to two bikes that I was interested in. One was the Colorado Comp and the other was the GT Pro, uh, the GT Aggressor, Aggressor Pro. Um, those were the two that I, that kind of struck my interest more than anything else that I saw. A little bit about me, um, I don't like to always get what everyone else has, and so going to the local bike shops, the Specialized, the Treks, the Giants, the Raleigh's, the, you know, all of the big name brands, you know, they were pretty cool, but I, I started seeing some of the same trends. All of the entry level mountain bikes were $500 or more. Very rarely did I see any that were less than 500. So it seems like it's an industry standard to get into the sport. You have to spend 500. dollars uh, I'm against that personally. I don't feel like you have to spend 500 dollars for a new mountain bike. The key is is to do your research and to look for good sales. And so once I narrowed it down to the final two bikes, um, I decided that I was going to go with the Colorado Comp. Now this bike is awesome. Um, I've took, taken it on a few trails um, already, and the cool thing I like about it the most is the fact that this thing can, can it's a beast, man. It rides over everything. Rocks, stumps, um, you know, hills, downhill, whatever the case may be, it it's a, it's truly is a beast. Now, it isn't the fastest bike, and it isn't the most nimble, meaning, you know, it, it's, it's harder to turn than um, a couple of my other bikes, but still, for for the money that I paid for it and the value that you're getting with the one by drivetrain, I think it's actually uh, definitely a good deal, but it also depends on how much you buy it for. So, for example, right now, just gonna check online, Dick Sporting Goods has this bike on sale for $600, all right? And it's showing that the regular price is $800. Okay, well, here's the thing when it comes to buying this bike. When I started looking at the reviews online and then looking at the Dick's reviews of people who bought it from the store, it seems like people have bought it as low as $350 because there are a lot of people who write reviews to say how much they bought the bike for. So in my mind, I'm thinking, okay, at the time when I was looking for it, which was December 2018, um, I think that the cheapest I saw it was, I think, $425 or something close to that. So I was like, okay, well, someone bought this for 350 at some point throughout the year. And after doing more research, it seemed like Dick Sporting Goods had a huge sale on their 4th of July weekend. And so they deep discounted a lot of bikes during that time. Well, um, I couldn't find the bike for less than like 420 but I went through hell with Dick's trying to get this bike, and I'm going to save that story for another video. Um, so I was able to get it at a discounted price. With tax and after I bought the three-year warranty for this bike, um, I think I t paid a total of almost $400. And again, the actual three-year warranty was like 60 bucks by 60 or $70 by itself on top of the taxes. So I think just for the bike alone, I paid like $325. So, you know, you can't beat that price. Even the drive, the, the one by drivetrain alone is almost worth that by itself. So the bike was just like a bonus if you look at it from that standpoint. Now, um, what I'm going to do is kind of give you a walk around with the bike. I know a lot of you guys have pretty much already seen the videos um, when it comes to this bike, but just want to give you a more in-depth view of it. Um, it is a little dirty because I did take it out on a trail a couple of weeks ago. So, um, But yeah, let me give you guys a good look, man. So here it is. This is the actual bike. Um, it's a beast, man. I love it. I love the actual uh, colorway of the bike. I've gotten a lot of compliments on it. Many people who don't even know what it is have come up to me after I've ran some trails asking me questions about the bike. I think the most funniest story that I have about it is 
Um, the first time I took it out on the trail, I had a particular couple of guys come up to me and they were asking me about it. And one guy was like, where did you get this bike? This was the bike that I wanted. I couldn't find it anywhere in the state of Florida. I said, yeah, to be honest, I think I bought the last one. And that is a true story. I think I, I think this bike was the actual last Colorado comp that they sold in the state of Florida. I actually had to drive two hours from Orlando to Gainesville to pick up this bike. And it was the last one that they had in store. Um, it's, it's a crazy story that I, that I went through with Dix, man. I'm going to save that for another time because I'm not going to make the video that long. That, that alone, that story would take at least 15 minutes to tell. Uh, but yeah, Dix kind of put me through hell trying to trying to get this bike. But in the end, it all worked out, and I actually got it for a really good price. So I had no complaints at all when it comes to this. So as you can see, this is it, man. This is this is the Colorado Comp. The only additions that I've done was I threw a bag on the back, bought from Amazon. I threw the water bottle holder to match, bought from Amazon. I threw the mud guard in the front on, again from Amazon. And that's the only thing that I've done to this bike. Um, nope, I take that back. I did add, I don't know why, I'm just crazy like that. But yeah, I put on a little um, a little orange, uh, what do you call it? Um, I can't even think of what you call those things, but you know what I'm talking about. Um, put that on there, got those from Amazon as well. So yeah, man, that's, that's pretty much it. Now, as far as what I would want to do to it, to make any changes um i can't say there's anything that i would want to do to to make changes to this bike um it's it's pretty much what i need um i did throw a gel cover on top of the seat yeah the seat is uncomfortable and i do know a lot of people end up buying um new seats for the bike but um yeah, that's not something that I feel like I need as of right now. Now, later on in the future, if it is something that I need, I will change it out. But to me, putting the gel cover on it is just as comfortable. Um, I also bought some biking shorts with pads. Um, normally, when I hit the trails, I only do about two hours max, sometimes only an hour, between an hour and two at the max. So I'm not on it long enough for it to really start hurting me. Um, so as of right now, I just don't feel the need to actually um change the seat out but in the future i might other than that man i'm not doing else anything to this bike i'm not getting any anything uh to me it rides good it does exactly what i needed to do oh i take something else back i did put some um some uh, skateboarding grip tape on the actual shifters um just makes it a little bit more responsive when riding um you know i can feel that that texture and grit and it just switches a lot easier faster for me personally um because i wear gloves but even without the gloves it, it is it's just a better feeling of, um, to have that texture on it than the smooth texture when shifting fast so um, but other than that yeah this is pretty much it man I got the 20 inch so this is the large I think the only other size it comes in is 18 um, at least on the Dick's website that's the only thing that they have I don't know if it comes anything smaller than that or not but it's an awesome bike man. It, it really truly is uh, probably one of my favorites that I have so far and you can see I do have other bikes in the background I actually have one in my home state of North Carolina as well but just stock is what it comes with it's pretty much all I need and yeah I'm, I'm pretty satisfied and, and, and happy with it I do know people complain about the shocks and they switched out the seed and you know they added this or that to the bike but from or switched the tires but for right now until I need to do those things I'm just going to run it as is and then when more changes are necessary then I'll, I'll definitely do that at that time um, as far as the accessories everything was on Amazon all of these accessories I got from Amazon um, I think one of the cooler things that I didn't even know that they made is these little um, zip ties so these zip ties right here are pretty cool because they're a little bit thicker than your normal zip tie but they don't scratch the surface like other zip ties do these zip ties have a little you can see this little orange it's like a little rubber texture right here so this everything that's an orange is rubber so as you see the orange part is going against the actual fork and it's not scratching the paint because it's just that rubber up against the actual uh, 
metal part. So, so yeah, you don't have to worry about um, anything scratching up your paint. Those were on Amazon. Maybe you just type in uh, uh, rubber zip ties and they'll pop up. But they actually help out a lot. Um, I did have a standard water uh, bottle holder cage on here. But, you know, of course, I saw this one. I was like, hey, the orange and black is cool. Let me get that. Um, this is pretty cool. The little bike um, storage in the back. It just clips on. This was on Amazon as well by Cool Change. Yeah, it's just a pretty, stores pretty good amount of stuff in there. Um, and then the actual mud guard it's by Ride Guard. I think they are uh, overseas somewhere. It's a company because this took a long time to ship to me. Um, but it's cool. It is kind of expensive, but I just really like the colors. The colors match the bike. So I thought it was just cool to kind of to kind of get that. As far as the zip ties, yeah, they are orange, but I don't think these come in any other colors besides blue and black. So uh, you may not be able to find the exact color to, to match your bike. But these are thick though. These are kind of big. And so um, it did stretch the holes out in this a little bit. But yeah, that's about it, man. Other than that, I'm not changing anything out. I'm not messing with the pedals. I'm not adding any kickstand. I'm not going to change the seat. I'm not going to change the handlebars. Um, it pretty much is uh, as is. So the Colorado Comp, man, it's a, it's a really, really good entry-level bike. Um, a lot of people have been trying to get this bike. I've heard rumors that this is now going to be discontinued, meaning that they're coming out either with a new one or this particular model is no longer being sold. I'm not really sure if that's true or not. I talked to um, a couple of people that are at my local Dick store and they said they have not confirmed that. And this is still being sold in certain stores. Um, my hometown of North Carolina has like three or four of them on the showroom floor in there, which was crazy when I went home. I didn't realize it would just be that easy. You could walk in the store and buy one. Me, I had to drive two hours to get one. So. Um, just check your local stores. Um, the Dick's website is not always up to date. It's not always accurate. So you have to call the store to verify to make sure that it's in stock there. If not, then you just have to try to you know, reach out to more stores. On there. So yeah, so it's, it's been a really good bike. I'm going to take it off the actual stand. And this stand I actually got off Amazon as well. And I'm going to do a video with all of my accessories and things that I bought from Amazon and things of that nature on there so you can see I am six feet tall even and the 20 inch pretty much let me just adjust the camera try to put it down some for you guys so you can see um, Okay. So yeah, you can pretty much see my height compared to the size of the bike. So I'm six six foot tall. Um, this is a 20 inch large, but the handlebars still come up pretty pretty close on them. It doesn't feel like a large when I'm on the bike um, compared to some of the other bikes that I have that are just our largest. But you know, it fits me still. I, I do like that. It's little bit closer about to me when I'm riding it gives me a little bit more of an aggressive stance um, but uh, but yeah man this is the, the Colorado Comp uh, 27 and a half plus mountain bike uh, I like it man I do think uh, everything that it comes with equipped I think is pretty much all you're going to need for now um, the small little things that I did to this is just just more so out of convenience more than necessity. You don't have to spend a lot of money if you're interested in buying this bike. Um, from what I do know is that Dix has really good sales on 4th of July weekend, Black Friday, and during the holidays, Christmas time and Thanksgiving time. Um, and then you never know on their flash sale. Sometimes you just have to check their website every now and then to see if they're having a flash sale. And uh, Sometimes you may find this discounted. If I were you, I would not pay more than $400 for this bike. Uh, only because, you know, it, it's gotten down as low as $350. Um, so I would wait until you get it on sale at a lower price. Definitely wouldn't pay $600. Um, 
definitely wouldn't pay five, but I think it is worth five, um, just because of the, the one buy by itself. Um, but I would try to get this down between 350 lowest and 400, um, I think is possible and doable. And you never know. At the same time, I don't know how many people out there are negotiators or not, but talk to the manager of the store. Let them know, hey, you know, I remember when this bike was a certain amount uh, a while ago, can you match that price now? And you just never know what they may say. Um, so you got to look for deals out here, man. These bikes can be very expensive, and you're going to be adding more to it, doing maintenance to it, buying um, accessories. So try to get them for as cheap as you can. But highly recommend this bike as a first-time mountain bike if you are in the market to get one. Okay. So other than that, that's about it. So comment, like, subscribe. Um, any questions you may have, I'll definitely try to answer them. Any way I can help, let me know. And I will see you in the next video.